So if you were to pick one title for yourself, Peter, what would you what would you call yourself? Yeah, but, uh, for the team, uh, we say the team manager. But I have many uh, titles, training of the guys. So you are uh, the coach yeah. for uh, all the riders as well? Uh, we say 90%. Yeah. 90% few guys they, they train by themselves and few they have the their own coach mm -hmm. but mainly uh, yeah mainly are coaching them and uh, I have access to all the data from all the rider so it's also helpful for for select the, the rider to, to the race so to, to know the fitness to know the the strongest uh, point like if they are sprinter clamber so it's helping to pick the right rider for the for the race because every race you need a different kind of, of rider and also when you have to think about uh, the tactic during the race especially when the race we have a radio many races we do that really drive and I, I just look the, the TV and I speak to the guys uh, it's more efficient Morning Morning Last stage we saw you bridge the gap. Yeah. That yeah. was cool oh, to see. Yeah. Two minutes was there. I, I, I pay a lot there. Yeah. I can tell. It's, it looked tough. Yeah, it looked tough. Yeah. And it uh, looked like you were doing more work than the other guy. <laughs> yeah. A little like bit, really? Uh, yeah. But I, I, I really want to close that gap because if I'm not in front, today is mean nothing for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I have to give everything. I even, when I chase, I even close my wahoo. Oh yeah? Yeah, so I don't want to panic about power or what. I just push, push, push. It's the final stage today, and this time I get to ride the motorcycle with the team manager. This stage starts with a 60 kilometer flat section and finishes with a 15 kilometer climb with 850 meters of elevation gain. The vibe I was getting was that today's stage was going to require more strategy than the previous two days. Right in the front, eh? from the start, eh? you train to a Lucas eh? controller. That climb, I've never done it in a race before, but it's going to be not so hard in the wheels. Because it's I know, a I bit... I the climb is not very hard in the in the. Yeah, in the but if it's fast... Then, how many guys can can hold it? Like no, but after five, six minutes, guys. Uh, yeah. yeah, keep riding. But we, we just ride this not, ride smooth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. And if not if, jump. If, if if because if you if, jump, if two or three guys want to go because for example, flat out and get a gap, because for example fine. you are be, you are leading at yeah. fifty, you a bit like fast, you get attacked. The guy behind you, let's say, is Lucas. He jump. He has to he push sprint. Well. No, yeah. but if he if he sprint to catch them, you you drop. And you go back in the bunch, and you have to come back. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I agree. Not jump in the wheel. Nobody jump in the wheel. You keep the pace. You keep the pace. Keep riding. If you wait for the Korean, what they're doing, and blah blah blah, uh, we get fucked again. So we take the responsibility. We have the climber. The Korean doesn't have climber. We are in the GC.
this point, it's about two kilometers into the climb, and the pace is high. Lucas said he was pushing 500 watts in the first two minutes just to hold a wheel. Just imagine how much he's pushing here. As we're catching up to the group, Adney made his move, so we didn't get to see that, but we got to see him absolutely flying up afterwards. Take this section for example. Anyone that's ever ridden up Doisotep knows this is the steepest section. The gradient around this bend ranges from about 14 to 16 percent. Adney's speed here is incredible. One minute, one minute, ten. One minute, ten. Three minutes. One minute, one minute, ten. One fifteen. One fifteen. all the way in the max until the end. The feeling was so good in the beginning. I want to test for Sharjah and Oman, you know? Because I, I, feel, I feel I'm good, but you never do something like this on training. And in the beginning, like 50k per hour for an hour is really good. And I want to give the, the guys who, do, who ride on the flat and who lead it out in the climb, I also want to show them, you know, at the moment you pull off, I will go, no matter what. And it, it's what we should do in Sharjah as well, because like that we won last year, so <laughs> we try. When I'm like five minutes in doing 500, I'm like, we can't sustain this for 40 <laughs> minutes, eh? Like over 500 in the wheel. Yeah. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. But then after in the wheel, it was easy, yeah, eh? It's to easy. work. How'd you end up? Oh, the last part, after the tempo, getting him on. Yeah, they were all cooked, but yeah. I just waited and waited and waited. I reckon I could have followed Alex, but I was like. And Alex and Adne, one, two, or? One, two, two. But yeah. in the GC, one, two, four. Miss few seconds for Alex to pass the uh, frame. But I think when I finished, we went so hard at the bottom mm. that everybody was in the limit. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even, even, uh, I don't know. Um, Chen, he just. I did the first two minutes on his wheel like 500 watts or so. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he did, but he's small. And then I think everybody except maybe Alex and Adam were on the limit. Yeah. 